Hi, my name's Nick Houston, Director of East Australia, and I'm here to report on some momentous changes to the Australian Migration Program and um, some fantastic announcements made by the Australian Government recently. The first announcement is an acknowledgement by the current Government of the way the Australian Migration Program has been basically been mismanaged um, over the past 10 years. And I want to read a quote from Claire O'Neill, who is the Minister for Home Affairs. This quote was given on the 2nd of September, and it came out of a skills conference in which the Australian government brought together a whole lot of people to consider um, how best the migration program could be deployed for the benefit of Australia, but also for the benefit of people coming to Australia. So this is what the Minister for Home Affairs said. She said, for the last decade, our immigration program has been on continental drift. It has no strategy. We make it easy for temporary migrants to come here, but very hard for highly skilled permanent migrants. We've got it backwards. The system is expensive, it's bureaucratic, it takes an eternity to get anything done. There is no proper feedback between the migration and training system, so areas of skill shortage come onto the shortage list and never come off again. Australia's migration system is not serving our needs and I think we should change it. Okay, that was the quote from Claire O'Neill, the Minister for Home Affairs. Um, there's been an acknowledgement that the visa system had issues of delay and issues of uh, variability in policy and uh, in fact that it was expensive and highly bureaucratic. So we would hope that the government will make some changes to the system to make it easier for people to apply for their visas. That's one thing that I want to report and that's very positive. Um, that we've got this announcement from the new government. The second thing is that there's been an increase to the overall size of the migration program. And there's been a series of media releases coming out of the skills conference. And under those announcements are that the government will increase the number of visas available from 160,000 places to 195,000 places. That's almost a 20% increase in the number of places available to skilled migrants. 35,000 extra places. Like that is really good news because that is going to allow many more people, whether you're in Australia or whether you're outside Australia, to actually make that transition to permanent residence and to apply for permanent visas. The other good news is that within the skilled stream, there's gonna be an increase of places allocated to skilled migrants and also a big increase given to the number of places that state and territory governments can nominate for the skilled visa. So in fact, the news is good on both fronts. There's been an acknowledgement that the migration program hasn't been working very well and there's a commitment to fix it and there's also an increase in the number of places available to new migrants. So I just what I want to say is that um, I, I would really encourage people to not lose faith but to continue looking for the, um, the possibilities that Australia has to open, has, has, has to offer for you. Um, what we need to do now is to organise a time to have a consultation with you to explain some of these issues and to do that legal assessment of your best visa strategy. In terms of the detail, we would expect some of these changes to um, be legislated in October. So we're still waiting for some of the detail, but I think it's important that people find out um, the reality of the, the possibilities that they have and to contact Visa Australia and to request um, an interview with us, in which case we'll do that, we'll do that very careful assessment for you. Okay, my name's Nick Houston, the Director of Visa Australia. Um, I hope this has been informative and helpful to give you some broader context for what's happening. And basically the news is, is good. Australia is open for business and there's more places and there's a skill shortage and, and we're actually looking for people. And we've got a government that's prepared to make some changes to the program to make it possible. Okay, thank you. Bye.